Good morning, you guys. FSC Speed Shop. Oh, it's been an interesting day yesterday, let me tell you. By the way, I'm over here in uh, the Vince Lombardi Service Plaza over here with Orwell. Orwell is my 1984 Peterbilt 362 cab over. That's probably the whole reason why you guys watch these videos. It surely isn't me, your humble host, Steve Feschak. Where the hell am I? Well, I'm under a bridge. That's right, I'm the troll under the bridge. Actually, it's real good sleeping under here. The noise from the road above will just lull you right to sleep. I'm wearing the shirt from yesterday they gave me over at Joint Base Cape Cod. Them boys are awesome. Let me tell you something real quick about driving these trucks for a living. There is a reason why I gave up hauling refrigerated freight. When I haul this stuff here, now granted it's extra work. You do have to detach a trailer. You do have to take the trailer apart. You've got to tie down, untie, prep the truck, all that kind of madness. But when you get there to make a delivery, they're happy you're there. All you guys hauling grocery, you know what it's like. You, know, you show up at a place like CNS Warehouse, you go make your delivery. Uh, yeah, good luck. That could take a while. Because, you know, you get there, wait 12 hours for a door, then you got to hire a lumper, then you sit in the door for 12 hours while they play with the tie high sheet, and then get your freight broken down from like 20 pallets to like 300 pallets, and they charge you a boatload of money for the service, you know, to unload their freight that they ordered, and you just the poor sucker that brought it to them. No, no, no. When you haul this stuff, they're happy to see you, as you can see. So anyway, I'm sporting their shirt that they gave me. I kind of feel weird because it's like a firefighter shirt, and I'm obviously not a firefighter. But either way, I figured I'd rep their brand real quick because, hey, they showed me one hell of a great day. Oh, I guess I could get off the K-Rail. So obviously, I talk a lot about you know truck parking and the lack thereof. Well, it's like 8 in the morning now, so there's room to park now. Obviously, we're in the very back, so I had to, like invent a parking space but truth be told i've parked there before and that's a pretty nice little spot and this place is a lot better than it used to be it used to be real terrible like it was real bad but now they repaved it i haven't been in a new store yet last time i was here they were building a building so i haven't been in a new store yet or the bathrooms i don't know how that situation is but that's you know it is what it is it's the Vince Lombardi service area. For those of you that don't run this area up here in North Jersey, it's the northernmost rest area on the New Jersey Turnpike. But believe it or not, it's accessible without paying a toll if you're coming off of 80. You just get on 95 South and you come down, uh, stay left at this exit 17 split. Basically, you just stay south before the first toll booth and then you get off at the service plaza so that way you can get on and off and back up to 80 without any problem. So with that, we're going to go ahead and fire Orwell up. We're going to go to Union, New Jersey and pick up a uh, some kind of truck that's going back to Oshkosh. So today is Friday. That'd be good. Get loaded, haul ass, be home for over the weekend. I'll drop that off on Monday. Wake the beast within.
All right, boys and girls, obviously we've arrived. I've opted to load it in the cul-de-sac here rather than up this hill. Because otherwise we'd have to back it up in there and there's just no need for that. So there's room here, people can get around. We'll load it right here, it's out of the way. So we'll go ahead and do that. Break it down right here and we'll guide her on. I feel like that big monster is what I'm getting. How's it going? Picking up that truck for Wisconsin? I'm guessing. I don't see nothing else weighing 40,000. I'm in the street. Um, you want to just load it in the street because I got a detach? Rather than have the trailer all cocked and crazy. All right. This is it, huh? Big boy. Oh, that'll be interesting. Quality tire right there. Yeah, because I already turned around, so I'm in a cul-de-sac, so yeah, yeah. it'd be easier just to load out there, there's more room. Where the hell did you guys get this thing? I don't know. You're my boss buy this. It's made to haul tanks. Yeah. Like literally, that's what they were built for is to haul the Abrams yeah, tank. The strong cables. Yeah. Real monster work. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, I'd love to play one of these in traffic. Imagine this in rush hour. Oh, listen to that Detroit run. That's an old two stroke in there. Those are cool. I still have to break the trailer apart, so give me about five minutes. Okay. Yeah. No problem. All right, cool. You yeah, probably let it warm up, that we don't give you any trouble. Back, I gotta detach the trailer first. Gotta wait a moment. 